41 year old Bryant was on a helicopter with his 13 year old daughter when it crashed yesterday morning. They're among the nine killed. Nobody made it out alive. CBS's Nichelle Medina has more details from the crash site and reaction from those who knew the NBA superstar. NBA teams from coast to coast paid tribute to Kobe Bryant last night. Everything I learned came from Kobe. The 18 time All Star won five championships with the Los Angeles Lakers and inspired a generation of basketball players along the way. Yeah, that, that DNA that, uh, that very few athletes can ever have, you know, the, the Tiger Woods and the Michael Jordans. Brian was killed along with his 13 year old daughter Gianna and seven others in a helicopter crash yesterday morning. The chopper went down in foggy conditions in Calabasas, about 30 miles northwest of Los Angeles. Given the uh, terrain and the condition of the site, we expect that this will probably take at least a couple, if not a few days, to uh, complete the recovery. Dispatch audio captured the moments before the crash. Two echo x ray, you're uh, still too low level uh, for uh, flight following at this time. I heard a helicopter flying, like I felt like it was flying way too low, and then all of a sudden I hear like a thud noise, and then there was nothing. Bryant scored 60 points in the final game of his career in 2016. You guys will always be in my heart. And thanked his fans and family after the game. For all the hours I spent in the gym working and training, and Vanessa, you holding down the family the way that you have. I, I, I can't, there's no way that I could thank you enough for that. Outside the Staples Center where Bryant played for 20 years, fans gathered late into the night to pay their respects. Nichelle Medina, CBS News, Calabasas, California. Back here, it is a somber day for Minnesota sports as the Timberwolves prepare for their game. Christian Cordero joins us live from Target Center with fan reaction this morning. Christian. Well, Kim, the Wolves and the Lynx shared a joint statement uh, saying and showing, of course, that they are deeply saddened by the passing of Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and the seven other people who were killed in that helicopter crash just yesterday. The Wolves, the Lynx, they uh, said that they, they touched on the worldwide impact that Kobe had on the sport, highlighting his presence off the court as well as a husband, a father, a mentor, and a businessman. The Wolves play Sacramento tonight. No word yet on what kind of tribute they have planned. In the joint statement, the organization said the world and the NBA are a better place because of Kobe and that their thoughts and prayers go out to Kobe's wife, Vanessa, their family, and the Lakers organization. His impact runs deep beyond Target Center, too. I just remember he was a prolific scorer. Uh, you know, he had, a, he had a real desire to win. Uh, he was super competitive. Uh, and just looking at the championship teams, you know, the one with uh, Shaquille O'Neal uh, and uh, just working with different players. I mean, he was just a generational player. Yeah, a generational player, no doubt. Um, one who inevitably, who lived and inevitably died, uh, paying the game forward as he was en route to that basketball camp with Gianna. Um, it is one of the things that just about every one of the men taking the court tonight have some kind of admiration and respect for, if not having grown up admiring the player that Kobe was on the court. The Kings and the Wolves take the court tonight. Tip-off is 7 p.m. Kim. All right, Christian, thank you.